Hi, welcome to Lala's World. Today we're going to talk about how to use Gab. Gab is basically a social media platform that allows free speech online. Be sure to click the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos. To access this website, go to www.gab.com. If you don't have an account, you can sign up. Go ahead and click sign up on the top right. Next, create a username. Enter your email, create a password, prove that you're not a robot, and click sign up. You'll then get a welcome message letting you know about Gab. Click next to the bottom right, then you'll be prompted to complete your profile. Click the circle to upload a profile photo, then click the rectangle to add a cover photo. When you're done, click next on the bottom right. Next, you can choose groups to join. And as you can see, there are a lot of groups. Once you've joined your groups, click next and you'll have the option to create your first Gab post or you can skip this section and have the option to do this from the home page. In the top right corner, click your profile photo, then click profile. Here, you'll see your timeline, comments, photos, videos, and bookmarks. You can also see your number of gabs, followers, who's following you, and likes on your post. To create a gab, Look to the right and click Create Gab. I'm just going to type Testing Out Gab. And the options for the post are adding a photo, adding an emoji, and they have a lot to choose from. You can also mark your media post as sensitive. You have the option to make your post public or private. A caution can be added as well. If you post a lot and you want to schedule posts, you have the option to upgrade to Gab Pro. Or if you want to use a rich text editor like bold, italics, underlining, etc., that's another upgrade feature. When you're done creating a post, click on Publish. I'm just going to refresh the page and there's my first Gab post. Also in the profile section, you can see the number of Gabs you have, followers, who's following you, and the number of likes you have. On Gab post, under the post, there's an option to like a comment, repost, quote, or share the Gab post. Back to the homepage. You can also click on your profile picture to find the help section. If you need help with anything on the website, right under Help, you'll find the Settings tab. Here, you can edit your display name, your bio, and your photos. Next, you can lock your account, so you mainly approve followers. Choose if your account is a robot account or automated. Also, you can adjust the metadata to be displayed as a table in your profile if you want custom info on your profile. Once you're finished, you're done, you can save your changes. Right below the save button is where you can delete your account if you decide you don't want to use Gab anymore. Preferences is where you can set your language, post privacy, you can always mark your media as sensitive, your followers and who you follow and disclose, what app you're using to post, and also a variety of media preferences. Under filters, you can add a word or phrase, choose when that content filter expires, where it should apply, and what to do with the filter. Next is account settings such as your email address and password. Also under here is where you can add an extra layer of security to your account with two-step authentication. 
And lastly, in this section, all of the apps or devices used to access your GAP account can be seen here. The post section is where you can schedule a post. This video is just going over the basic free account, which doesn't allow scheduling, but if you have a ProGab account, you can schedule post. Verification is also for Pro users. Data export is where you can export your account data, such as your followers, following, and more. And right below this is where you can log out. At the top, you can click Explore. Here is where you'll find popular posts. You can discover and you can sort by top or hot posts, and you can sort by time frame. Next is the news section where you can get headline and breaking news, and you can click different news outlets. And if you see a news outlet you want a feed on, you can click on it. The next tab is groups. Here, you can see the group feeds that you follow and switch the view from the timeline to the individual groups that you follow. The tabs below are where you can find other groups to join that may interest you. On the menu to the left, you can see your notifications such as mentions, likes, reposts, follows, and polls. To follow someone, simply click follow under their profile picture. When you follow someone, you can see their post and their post will show up in your homepage feed. And if you want to find out who you follow and who follows you, you can see the account I just followed showed up. You can access groups from here as well on the left menu. Next, you can create a list of people or accounts and all of the posts from members of the list will show up here. You name the list and click to add people. You can also access Explore again from the left menu. Next is the Pro Feed where you can see some Pro Gap posts. You can access News again from the left column. If you click the More tab, you'll have access to more settings such as Help, Display Options, Blocked Users, Muted User Settings, and the option to log out again. In the display options, you can change the font size. You can also adjust the background colors and go to dark mode from here. When you have your screen display the way you like it, click Done. Here are where blocked users, muted users, and preferences are shown. The next section shows apps. Gab has their own browser called Decenter. Decenter is a fast ad blocking web browser based on Brave that puts control back in your hands. Decenter's browser aim is to reduce the amount of tracking and third party applications which are made by modern browsers. And you can quote, disable big tech control over what you can and can't do. In this section, you also have access to the app. Please note, Gab is banned from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for refusing to censor speech for Google and Apple, but you can still install the Android app on your phone and the instructions are on this page. Next is the Gab Shop. Here, you can donate or purchase merchandise to support the website and they have a variety of items to choose from. If you want to find what's trending, you can click the trending tab and see the trending topics. If you decide to switch over to Gap Pro, you can click on the Gap Pro tab and click to learn more, and you can see the prices. It's not a requirement, but if you want the extra features, you can pick a plan. Click the Decenter tab if you decide you want to download their free speech web browser. This web browser is supposed to block ads and trackers, and it's compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac. Back to the home page, on the bottom left, if you click the circle with a pen, you can also compose a new gab from here. 
If you want to search on Gab, there's a search bar to the top right, the bell icon which will show notifications, and the light bulb icon will change your display from light to dark or dark to light. If you want to comment on a post, simply click under the post and type your comment and click publish. If you don't see the comment, you can refresh the page. And as you can see, it now says one comment. Under a comment, you can like, reply, or click the three dots to get a menu that allows you to mute conversations, repost, repost with the comment, bookmark status, pin on profile, delete, edit, or share gab. If the post is yours, you can go to the top right of the post, click the three dots and get the menu to mute the conversation. Bookmark status, pin on profile, delete, edit, and share gab. And when you're all done, you can log out at the top right. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and check out the other videos on this channel.